Hey, this is Jimmy Brown, and I'm going to show you the intro to Megadeth's In My Darkest Hour, from their 1980 album, So Far, So Good, So What. And I'm going to show you the way Dave Mustaine plays the part live, and also the false start heard on the original recording. All right, this whole figure is built around a sequence of arpeggiated chord shapes, a couple of which require some pretty demanding wide fret stretches. Like this first one, it's like an E minor 9. Get your pinky at the 9th fret on the A string, index finger on the 5th fret on the D string, so that's a big stretch. And then the middle finger on the 7th fret of the G string. That's the way the song starts off. Uh, Dave goes. And the picking is down, 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 up. And then he goes, he includes the, the open B and high E strings the second time. Okay, so that's down, 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 up, down, down. It's interesting, you know, the top note is picked with an up stroke. It kind of helps accent it and bring it out more. And then uh, he goes, he starts the song in earnest with the band. And then into the single note riff. Okay, there's a little bit of position shifting there. We start on open E5 and then D at the A string's fifth fret, F sharp, fourth fret of the D string. So it's D, F sharp, D, and then E, seventh fret, fifth fret, then over to the low E string. Yeah, all those notes are played on the low E string. So it's B, 7th fret, 5th fret, 3rd, 2nd, 3rd, 5th, 7th, back to the A string, 5th fret, back to the 4th fret, 5th fret. All down strokes. Position shift there. Position shift. And then again. This is where the, the main riff kind of starts at around 26 seconds in the recording. Okay, he does that E minor 9 shape again. And then, this is a little bit of a stretch here. You get the ring finger going from B in the seventh fret, low E string. And then he's still holding these, these notes. And then this time, the index finger bars across the top three strings at the fifth fret, so. Okay, so it's bom, bom. Okay, now you switch to another shape. What that is, um, you can think of that as like an open C chord, but finger with these three fingers, and then just moved up the neck, up to here. It's A over C sharp. So um, and then he goes back down. Bom, bom. That's the trickiest move right there, is going from this shape back to this weird shape. So it's... Bom, bom. Barring the index finger. Bom, bom. And then... Walking down the A string, 7th fret, 5th fret, 3rd, 2nd, and then it goes into uh, an easier part, it goes bah. 
F5. E5. And then we're into the triplet part. Dun, da, 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 da.